Trinity, I'd like to go to Romans 12 today. I've been thinking about just how strident uh, many of the conversations in our society are right now. People really are just laying into one another all too often. And uh, Romans 12 is a, is a helpful passage for us that kind of reframes for us uh, how to live as Christians in times when people are very harsh with one another, including perhaps attacking us. Romans 12, 14 says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink, for by so doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. There are so many uh, timely instructions for us here, especially for things like social media or conversations with people that we disagree with. Um, for example, to, uh, to never be wise in our own sight, um, to if possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. And that's the truth. The, the Bible recognizes, God acknowledges, Romans reminds us that it's not always possible to live peaceably with all. Sometimes people will refuse for their part to live peaceably with us. Um, but that's why it says, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Uh, we probably will not make these peaceable times on our own, but we can do what does depend on us. And uh, as far as it does depend on us, we can try to live peaceably with all, even in the next eight, nine weeks. God bless you as you try.